Welcome everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you guys on Windows 11 how to remove the annoying Bing search or AI chat, Bing chat that you have that comes default to Microsoft Windows 11 installs. I don't have any other browsers right now, but the easiest way to get rid of it on Microsoft Edge is to just download Google Chrome or download Firefox and never use Edge browser. But for this search uh, where it says, all these things on the right side here's a quick way to disable that uh, we're going to search for cloud search settings and should come up on your search with the bing of course uh, and uh, you go to the cloud content search you uncheck or disable all these options that i'm showing guys except the history i like to keep the history uh, I don't want to have the highlights and whatnot. And that is all you need to do to get rid of the Bing AI chat on your search. It might not kick in right away. Uh, you might have to log in again or you might have to restart the computer uh, for it to, there you go. So it just disappeared for me. So it might take a little while to disappear on your end as well. So no more web interface for the search, no more Bing stupid crap that you see with uh, your default Windows 11 install. So now we're going to go into Microsoft Edge and we're going to play around with some of these things. So uh, let's do, I don't like this setup at all. Like I do not want to see any of this. So you can disable all these cards. You can edit your location, hide this card, whatever you want to do, you can do it here itself. You can say, I don't want any of this stuff. I don't want any of the rows to display. I don't want any background to show up. I don't want to sh see any greetings come up. Content is completely off. So there is no content. It's clean browser uh, launch every time. So uh, that's how you would remove everything and anything that's on your browser. Or you can also go in here and set your default page actually. Uh, under settings you can set your default page as well for whatever you want so i think it's called home pages home page start home page you can specify your pages for example i want to say i want to add google.ca oh i got spelled right google.ca and same thing for my new tab when i click on the new tab button i want this url to show up as well google.ca and click save and that's how i would get rid of that box completely as well and no i don't want to stay signed into google i don't want to use or you can just use google chrome but uh, uh the, the main video that this is about is to f remove the stupid bang search so on from your edge from your computer um this is how you would do it for your browser if you want to continue using edge feel free to go ahead use edge uh but you if you don't want to see this little guy right here on the top right bang this is how you'd go about uh, in removing that. Let's close the browser and we're going to go and open Reg Registry Editor tool. So I just type Reg in my search and then run as administrator. So you need to run it as an administrator. And if you log in as local account, make sure if you, uh, if you do the Windows search or Windows run, so Windows R, Windows plus R, it will open this and you can do this uh, as well reg edit and we'll launch reg editor as well for you but since we have it open i'm not going to do that uh, i'm going to just get the path from my tutorial that i will be posting this instruction as well on your uh, youtube description section here that uh, is under the video so do feel free to copy paste uh, the path so i went to hkey local machine software policies and microsoft I do not see a full uh, new key or I do not see the key called edge. So what we can do is we're going to create a new key. So I right click actually before I do that, I almost forgot about this. Make sure you ex export. So default policy settings edge higher. Just, just, just for the heck of it. So if you need to go back. Uh, you can do that you remember that okay i just need to import that and that's it right and that is all you have to do otherwise you'll have to delete the key and all that stuff so right click 
on Microsoft, you should see something like this, TPM, Windows, Windows NT and entries. You shouldn't see anything with Edge. But if you do, uh, you can just enable or add the key into that entry as well, into that folder. So we're going to create a key. We're going to call it Edge. And in there, uh, if you already have it there, you can just add the D word. You can insert that here as well. So we're going to add the new D word with a 32-bit value and we're going to call it hubs sidebar enabled so again that's hubs sidebar enabled and you can leave it to zero so hexadecimal value should be set to zero you can click ok and that is all you need to do for registry and you can close the registry editor and now if you open the edge browser i'm going to close that as well you should not see the bing, or you, you'll still see the bing icon. So one more thing you need to do on the browser itself on Edge is so you go to the policy page on Edge. So to go there, you type in the address bar Edge colon slash slash. If you go, if you start typing, you'll see it already pop up. But Edge colon slash slash for a policy, and you'll have to reload the policies. So click on the reload policies and you will see the hub sidebar menu enabled. And as you notice the top right, the Bing search or Bing AI chat thing disappeared. So that's how you will disable the annoying Bing chat search option from your computer altogether. So again, I've just disabled here. You can also modify your search settings from there itself instead of typing and looking for it but that's how you would do it guys that's how you will remove bing from your edge browser and from your search bar as well uh, thanks for watching guys i hope that this was informational for you guys and helped you guys get rid of some of the clutter from edge browser at launch and also to get get rid of the Bing search by default that comes. Uh, one more thing before I end this, you can also uh, disable the search. So if you have, if you prefer Google, for example, uh, for your search bar, right? Uh, you, you can do this, uh, remove the search. So on the edge, so I clicked on the settings option, three dots, settings, and on the left side, you'll see privacy, search, and services. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you will see the address bar search option and you can cl you click on that and you can choose recommended. You can choose the search and use address bar as Google. Uh, you can show the search box if you want. You can manage search engines. You can also remove it from here, Bing. You can keep the other ones if you want and that's all you'll have to do for cleaning your search. So again, I don't like the Bing search. I don't like the Bing chat option. So this is how I clean up my instance of uh, Edge browser. However, I don't use Edge to be honest. I use Firefox most of the time. Maybe Google Chrome a few times uh, for some tests and whatnot. And that's how you would get rid of the Bing search from your computer from your Edge browser on Windows 11. It should apply for Windows 10 as well. But again, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Please uh, do hit the like button. Please do hit the subscribe button. Much appreciated. Stay safe guys. Take care.